I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on circle. Now we will learn how to write equation of circle in standard form and how to convert the equation from general form to standard form. Here are three examples which will help us to understand the whole concept. Question number one. Find equation of circle with center minus 1, 2 and radius 5. Question 2. Find equations of a circle with radius 4 that is tangent to the y-axis at 0, 3. Question number 3. Find area of circle x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y plus 21 equals to 0. Now to begin with, equation in standard form is given as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. Now in this equation, the center of the circle is, let me say center of the circle is at h and k. And the radius is r. Correct. And when you write in this form, it is called standard equation of circle. Right. We also sometimes call it as center radius. as it gives you directly the value of the radius and also the center point of the circles. It's a very, very helpful equation. Now let us answer these questions. Question number one. It is straightforward. We need to write the equation of circle with the given center and the radius. So in this case, we know what center is. That is, the center is at minus 1, 2. That means h equal to minus 1 and k equals to 2. And also we are given the radius as 5. So we'll just substitute the value in the equation. We get x minus of minus becomes plus square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to the radius square which is 5 square. So that gives you the, the answer as x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 25. So that is the solution of the very first question. The concept is very straightforward. Circle is set of points, same distance from the center. So this is reminder of distance formula, correct? So it has a relation with distance formula which straight away gives you the equation. Now let us see how to solve question number two. Find equations of a circle. So it could be more than one circle with radius four that is tangent to y axis at zero three. So let's try to understand the question. Now in this case, we are given that y axis is tangent to the circle and we are given the point also so let me make a circle here let us say this is the circle okay now it is given to us that this point here is is at three right so that is zero x and y and we also know that the radius is four we need to give equation of the tangent. Now, as you know, in standard form, I could write the equation as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. We know the radius. We know r is equal to 4. But we need to find h and k. That's the whole idea. 
Now in case we have a tangent given, from there can we find the center? Well, we are given the radius also. So if I draw a horizontal line as shown here, in that case, for the circle, diameter is going to be 4, right? So this point here will be at 4. So obviously, right in the center, this point should be where? I mean 8, right? So diameter is twice the radius. So this point should be at 4, correct? Since the radius is 4. Now if x value is 4, y value is 3. So we know that the center is at 4, 3. Does it make sense to you? Now for that case, I could write down the equation of the circle as x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to the radius square which is 4 right so 4 square so we could write this as x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 16 so we get one of our equations now can we have two equations that is what you have to think about with the given conditions, we could have this circle also in quadrant 2. How? Let's look into this circle. Okay. Now, here also, we have tangent at a given point. Now, if I make this radius as 4, let us see. In that case, it also meets the criteria. So this point will be now minus 4, correct? So for the second circle, we get the center at minus 4. The y value remains at 3. And we have r equals to 4 as given to us. We can again write down the equation in this form, which is x plus 4 this time, since it's on the left side, whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 16. Does make sense to you? So that is how we get both the equations. Correct? So I hope this concept is clear. So with the given conditions, we could get two equations of circle. Now let's move on to the last question, which is a very interesting question. Question number three. Find area of circle x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y plus 21 equals to zero. Now this is a very important question. We are going to learn many techniques while solving this particular question. So let me list some. First, we need to find area and we know the formula area for a circle is basically pi r square. So to find radius, what should we do? This is a form which is called the general form. We should actually convert general form to the center and radius form which is called standard form. So we'll also learn how to convert general to standard form, right? And then once we do that, I will also give you a short trick. These are actually formulas and methods which you should know when solving questions. They help you to check answer and also, they are very helpful for uh, multiple choice questions, right? So these are important things which you should remember. So let's begin with the standard technique of converting general to standard form, right? So we'll do the first part, which is how to convert general form of equation for a circle to a standard form. Mainly what you need to do is complete squares. I hope you remember you did complete squares to find the vertex of a parabola. So that's the whole idea. So I'll rewrite this question which is x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y. And I'll keep this 21 to the right side. So equals to minus 21. 
Now, let us arrange x and y terms. We have x square plus 10x and we also have y square minus 4y equal to minus 21. To complete the squares, what should we do? We have to add and subtract half of the coefficient of x and y, correct? So, same technique. So, what is half of 10? It is 5. So, what we do here is that we add and subtract half of 10, which is 5 square minus 5 square, right? Now, at times, what we can do also is instead of doing add and subtract, we could directly write 5 square on the left side and 5 square on the right side. That's also a good technique. Okay, but we'll continue with this. And then we have the other two terms with y. Let me rewrite them. y square minus 4y. Half of 4 is 2. So we'll add and subtract 2 square. And we have minus 21 here. Now, as you can see, these three terms form a perfect square and these three also form a perfect square. So, we can combine them and write as x plus 5. This is positive square. Now, that is minus 25. And here we have y minus 2, perfect square, right? And 2 square is 4 we get minus 21. Now we have the standard form. We just need to take these constants on the right side. So what we get here is x plus 5 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals 2. This is 29, right? 25 and 4. So we do 20 minus 21 plus 29 which gives us plus 8. So we have the equation in the standard form from where we have the center of the circle, let's write, center of the circle is at minus 5 and 2 and the radius is square root of 8 which could be written as 2 square root 2. So that becomes the, the radius. Perfect. Now we can find the area. We need actually the area of the circle. But I hope the process is clear. Is it okay? Now as I was saying at this step you could add 5 square and 2 square directly on the right side and save some steps. That is a good uh, approach. Now from here uh, we, we can also see that r square is 8. Now what is pi r square? So area for us is pi r square. r square is 8, so area is equals to 8 pi. So that is the, the solution. And of course, the units will be unit square. So it's a good idea to write units also. Now, we are talking about the short trick part. In general, what you notice here is that to find the center, we actually did what? We did half of 10 to get the x value and half of this coefficient. Is it okay? So that gives you the half of this value. Right? Rather, I should write the center point basically is normally written as hk. Now this value of h you can see is minus of 5. It's minus half of 10. right? So it could be minus half of 10 and for k minus half of minus 4. Minus half of minus 4. You get the same answer. right? And to get the radius since we did addition subtraction of these units 5 and 2 you square them you square them and then add to the equation on the right side perfect so so what you get here is 
R square will be equal to because the right side represents R square R square will be equals to minus 21 plus half of these values square perfect so plus 5 square plus 2 square so that could be a shortcut method however it doesn't take long to do this also so unless and until you are really pressed for in some multiple choice questions it is good to estimate but i hope the steps are absolutely clear so i hope you understand and appreciate how we could use the equation of circle in standard form to answer many related questions and we'll take a few more exercises to understand conversion between general and standard form as that is very important feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best